Welcome back kings and queens and welcome if you're new here. My name is Hope King and I'm the designer of King's Designs MD. Today we're going to work on a wreath and we have a few things that you're going to need to prepare. So this is a 14 inch wreath form from Dollar Tree. I have four deco mesh rolls. I like to do my wreaths with zip ties. If you've seen my wreaths, you'll see zip ties. To me, it makes it quicker, easier, and you don't have to do all the twisting. You're also going to need a decorative sign. So I've got this fabulous sign that I will be using for my wreath. You're also going to need a couple other things. So if you have a ruler or a cutting mat, you can use your cutting mat. You're also need scissors and maybe a rotary cutter if you want to use um, scissor or rotary cutter, whatever your preference is. You're also going to need a glue gun and some additional glue sticks may be needed. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So I typically like to use um, my rotary cutter to cut. I don't have my rotary cutter with me today, so I'm gonna use what I have, and that is going to be my scissors. That also makes it easy for you if you have scissors. And what we're gonna do is, just gonna open this up. The deco mesh typically curls on its own if you've never used it. You see it has a natural curl. We're just gonna roll this out, and I like to cut mine to about eight inches in length. Again, if you have a rotary cutter, you can just go on through. But I'm going to use my scissors and just cut through. What I like about the wreaths is that it doesn't have to be perfect. Now you can either use this as your template to do the next one, or you can continue to cut on your mat. But again, these don't have to be perfect. You want to get them as close to the 8 inch mark as you can because you want to have a little bit of consistency throughout. So I'm going to cut all of my rolls and come back. So. The next thing we're going to do, you see I have a big pile of deco mesh here. We're going to grab rolls of three. One, two, and we're going to make sure they're rolled together, and three. We are going to grab a zip tie, and it has a bridge tie that you can hear if you run your fingernail over, and it has a smooth side. We want the ridge side to face the deco mesh. So, and I'm stuck. Don't get it close to your hair. So, I have put this through the middle two rungs. There's one, two, three, four. I don't know how hard it is for you guys to see it. One, two, three, four rungs. The zip tie is through the middle two rungs. And then I'm going to put my deco mesh in push it through and pull it. So I'm going to do this again and try to get you guys closer. So now that I have you just a tad bit closer, we're going to take again one, two, three deco mesh rolls. I'm going to put them together, bundle it together. You see your zip, you see your wreath ring, one, two, three, four. And we're going to go through two and three. We're going to go under them and back out. So you see, we went under two and three and back out. I'm going to put this on top. I'm going to pull it and zip it. And now it is attached to your wreath form. Now I like to turn mine around. And then once I'm done, I will snip off the back. Okay, so I got all the deco mesh done. Everything's going here. So what I'll tell you is I like to do five bundles of three. So we do um, five bundles of three. So by the time you get done, you should have 90 pieces of individual deco mesh on this wreath. Now, if you don't want to do five rows of three, you can do four sections. And so here, I'm gonna show you what I mean. On the back, you can see my sections. So this is why I like to use the um, zip ties. I can flip them down 
And if you want it to cover the back, you can, but it, to me, it gives it a little bit cleaner look. So this is one section from here to here. And it's one, two, three, four, five in this section. You can take one out and do four and just slide them around. It won't be as full, but you can do that. So there's that. Here's my sign. This is the sign that we're using today. Fall breeze and autumn leaves. So we're gonna put this on. What I like to do, I'm gonna clip off the, actually I don't even have to clip them off this time because the way the sign is made. This actually has like the bag ends on it. You know how you buy a gift bag and it has the little agots. That's what these are actually called, I believe they're called. Aglets, something like that, <laughs> aglets. Um, so we had the two pieces and I just took those out. As you can see, just slipped them through the holes just like you would do a bag. I am going to put some glue on this and get it done. I have my glue gun heating up and I don't think it's quite hot yet. So I'm gonna turn this around facing me because I wanna see what I'm doing. Um, not necessarily a bad way to put this on because it's gonna go straight across, but you do wanna make sure that the top of your reform, you don't wanna catch it right where one of these um, structures are going across for support. Sorry if this is in the way, but you don't wanna catch it right where this is going across for support because when you get ready to hang it, it'll hang crooked if it's not even. So you probably wanna get it here somewhere um, to get it centered and an empty open space so to have a free hook for when you hang it. Now let's see if this glue gun has gotten warm enough. And it has. So I know that my sign is not going to cross the entirety. There's going to be a part of it that sticks out. But I want to make sure I get across the top of it where I know it might hit the deco mesh. And I want to get these spots that I know are going to hit my sign. I know this glue gun is going to cool a little bit as I'm doing this, but I don't want it to cool too much. Again, I want to make sure I have me a good center piece. I'm going to put it on and I want it to catch, I want this glue to catch as much of this deco mesh as possible. I like to press mine down so that it adheres to all of this beautiful deco mesh. I'm gonna call it fabric, but whatever. Polyester probably. And just push that down so it catches and adheres to that. And then there you go. You have a beautiful fall wreath. Now if you want, you can go in here and add some gemstones if you want some gemstones or sometimes I add a little ribbon decorative ribbon bow and these little areas just to cover it up and then I've even added flat back pearls to this area if it, if it doesn't bother you leave it alone if it bothers you find some way to fill it in but I hope this helps somebody remember to like comment and subscribe and you guys have a great day